What's going on, guys? Mine is Renixiel. It's your boy Rubino. And we're here to do a movie review for both The Babysitter and The Babysitter Killer Queen. It's been a minute since we did a review. Uh, COVID has messed up everything, so... We're yeah. still trying to get back into it, and uh, we got new... I got a new... Not a new job necessarily, but I changed a position in my job at Walmart. Uh, so we are scheduled our massive conflict, so we yeah. never get time together to watch movies or even do anything anymore. So we got together and we watched on Netflix The Babysitter and The Babysitter Killer Queen because yeah. Killer Queen came out a little bit ago. Yes. Uh, we haven't seen The Babysitter either, so yeah. we watched both of them. We're like, okay, let's do movie gets. Both movies were not bad movies. Well, okay, well, I will say this. Okay. They're bad, but they were good. I will say that. They were bad and good because it's like... Going into this, I kind of already knew it was going to be bad. You know, seeing seeing the movie, how stupid it was. So I was like, okay, let's just watch it. And uh, yeah, I think they're. I hate to say it, they're sci-fi bad because sci-fi has some okay movies. Yeah, sci-fi bad to the point where it's like sci-fi channel bad, where they were bad and stupid to the point where they were funny. Yes, enjoyable to watch because of that. Yeah. Uh, first of all, the babysitter involves um Cole. Who is, who is a young child, uh, not child, he's in middle school, yeah. uh, his babysitter, um, B. Yeah. Um, he kind of has a crush on his babysitter and all that stuff. No one's though. Yeah. Uh, they all have, uh, you always have a crush on your baby, your first babysitter, unless you're one of the old babysitters. Anyway. Um, have the young ones, thank God. And of course, uh, B's friends, for one, one night, come over and uh, they want to do a blood cult thing. Yeah, they, they pretty much. A blood much, sacrifice. Yeah. They pretty much, uh, they want to take Cole's blood since he's a young version he's an innocent 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 young version and they want to drink his blood so they can uh you know one wants to be a well, they want to combine the blood of the sacrifice with the blood of the innocent which is his blood they only need like, a tiny syringe of it they don't need like a yeah they need, they just need to think but i think um which, to be fair that's why they drugged him or just gonna yeah. take his blood while he's asleep do the ritual he wakes up it's all good it's all yeah. gravy well but th- that's the happened. thing though because she was trying to get him drunk but it didn't work well it, it, well not he kind of well yeah well drunk and well, well not they also drunk, had like, medicine sleepy, to the, yeah, medicine all that because you know to get him asleep but he he, he kind of stopped because he wanted to know what was going on downstairs and why you know are they having an orgy are they what are yeah, they there's doing there's very downstairs? some raunchy type yeah. of things going on both these movies but they, uh, technically the second one in particular yeah um and then there's a blood orgy not blood orgy blood <laughs> cult thing because <laughs> i'm getting thinking of certain things now um cole ends up somehow as a middle schooler killing all these people yes and saving the day uh Destroying the book, the satanic book that uh, yeah. they're supposed to perform the ritual from, yeah. and yeah, he moves on. The second movie involves a few years later. I think it's three or so years later. Two he's years. In, two, two years. years. Okay. It was two years. He's later. in high school now. He's no, I thought it was three because he's a junior in high school. So a little minimum. Of three it was, it was years. two or three. It was two or three. I well, remember. he's a junior in high school anyway. Uh, he's having issues uh, relating because he's still a virgin. Yeah. He's still innocent. He's in high school. He was like a bow tie yeah. or a regular tie and a suit and no, vest I don't and all know that what stuff. He was wearing. Um, he looks pretty snappy, but because every, yeah, because everybody knows what happened. Well, well, no, it, well, well not everybody knows. They don't knows. believe his story. They don't believe his story pretty much. Everyone thinks he's crazy, yes. so he's in high school. Everyone just thinks he's a dork, and they don't want to be his friend. Of course, his friend Emily or Linda is it Linda? Yeah, you know his friend Melanie. You know, is trying to help him out, get over it, because everybody doesn't want to be his friend, and so you she know. invites him to a little. Uh, House party or whatever at the lake. Yeah, house party, beach party. You know, but get back. Like, Let's have some fun. You yeah. know, they get there and then it turns out that like everyone from high school is going is at the party. Yeah, it's a whole like almost like a mini Coachella type event going on. They're yeah. all at the beach partying. There's a boats everywhere. Which was it's crazy. Which was very surprised. I thought it was just gonna be them. I, I was <laughs> because she so, made it. She made it sound like oh, it's just gonna be us two. And then they other people came and it was just like what the first hell her close on? friends came. They get there and there's like, yeah. like 30, 40, 50 people from the high school all there doing drugs and it's crazy. So they go into a houseboat type thing. Go out into the middle of the lake or far away from the rest of the party. They start drinking. They're playing. Um, not spin the bottle. Well, what's spin no, the no, bottle? No, yeah, what's spin yeah. the bottle? Yeah, it was spin and the bottle. It turns out. Uh, Apparently she's part of the same cult. Yeah, because in the in the first movie, like I said, in the in the first movie, she was a, she was just a kid. So yes. it, was, it was very surprising when she just started to go crazy and started. She got the hit to kill uh, one of the friends. I guess I guess she didn't know nothing about it. Or yeah, whatever, she was a sacrifice. Remember, you yeah. one sacrifice. Both in both movies, you, the one person they brought that you didn't really know too well was yeah. a sacrifice. They both died. Right, got their blood. Then he had his innocent blood in order to perform the ritual. Yeah, which was weird, man. I was it was just so out of place. I was like, whoa, they yo, why would they do that? Like, why is why is, why, why? Did they make Mel- Melody the? Well, it just I would never thought of she like wanted that. to yeah. be an influencer. That was yeah. her dream, and she wanted to ask the devil for it to become a uh, yeah, that was billion so followers. That was, 
I don't know. I'm surprised by that. It was just the power of YouTube right there. Yeah, but it it was crazy. But oh, oh, I mean, you know. But oh, overall, this movie was like, like I said, it's funny. Oh, both of the movies, they're funny. It's they stupid were, stuff. Like it's really, really stupid. But it was funny. That's it. It's not something fun to watch by yourself because yeah. you, all the stupid elements kind of just. It's something to laugh at and yeah, poke at a bunch of it, friends. If you're by yourself, it's like okay, that's does make do sense. Not that's watch stupid. This by whatever. But even when that someone got their heads off and there's blood pouring out. You can tell how bad it was CGI. Or someone uh, got like, stabbed. It looked like ketchup. I mean, yeah. it looked like ke- No, no, not ketchup. But it just looked like a bag of paint. Uh, Every time they got killed. It looked one like of the things that Martel, I really noticed. One guy got their head poked through an antler through the back of the head. If it was um, King John. Ba- yeah, uh, John. King, uh, King Bach. Back? Bach? Batch. King Batch. Batch. Yeah, King, okay. King Batch. Yeah. Um, he got his head, eye poked out. And then a little bit of blood started squirting out. And then he focused on someone other character. I can't remember. I think it was Max. But I can't remember exactly the character. And you literally see a bucket. Not you don't see a bucket, but you see, it looked like a bucket see. of blood got sp- so from below. Yo, that was funny. And then Allison, her kills were just ridiculous. She got so she got, look. It was a regular ass gun. They shoot the gun. Pow! She go way behind. I'm like, yo, what the hell? She flew away. Yo, she did the same gun. She bought, she shot a Bambi one time in one part. Yeah. The whole thing exploded. Exploded. Then the same gun shot her in the chest. She still survived. She did nothing. She nothing happens to her. The second time she got shot, she flew fifteen feet backwards. And that's why it's so stupid. So what the hell is yeah. going on? Yeah, and that's what makes the that make this makes makes this movie great. It's stupid. You know, you don't you once you get into it, you just as like, a okay. movie point of view, it's stupid. It doesn't yeah. make it too much sense. The basic story is there. Yeah. Is people want to perform a ritual, summon the devil to get their wildest dreams uh, done. But the way they went through it is very sci-fi, very comedic. It was yeah. uh, directed by Mick G. The yeah. same way to Supernatural and other shows, of course. So really? I know from Supernatural anyway. I, so I know from Supernatural. I know too much about Mick G, but I mean, they they literally were just like, "Look, here, <laughs> here's your budget. You can do whatever you want." They said, "You know what? It's a stupid movie anyway. We're gonna just make it look stupid." And for the second one, Killer Beat or Killer Queen, they really doubled down on some of the certain funny elements that made the first yeah. movie okay. Like they, the whole point where uh, they put Max more cuss words in it. A lot more cuss words in it. Yeah. Swear words. Um, the, the Max was supposed to be uh, killing J- Cole, the main yeah. character, but he was also supportive at the same time. Yeah. Like in the first movie, there's a scene where okay, you need to go confront your bully. He's literally trying to chase him down yeah. and kill him. Was that you letting that guy bully you over there? Let's yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's go beat him up. They, yeah. They, they I, I think they're throwing the eggs. Yeah. In the first movie, they're yeah. throwing the eggs at the thing. They were just throwing eggs at his house. And he's like, "You gonna let throw eggs at your house, brother? You gonna let him do that?" Right there. He disrespected you. He said, "Go get him. Go." And so he go. So he literally okay. He did, it doesn't work. He still gets bullied, and then he comes he back and scares the face. guy. Off. Man, that was a, that was a good first attempt, man. Okay, all right, back to killing you. Yeah, and he, he just it. chases him down. He's like, man. And the second one happens, and um, Max is a. Uh, I don't want to give away too much of the. Yeah, don't give away too much. But yeah, yeah, he doubles down on that a supportive role, even as being killed, and yeah. uh, the the whole movie's finishing. He's like, great job, Cole, and it's like, how you're? He's literally your enemy. Why are you? Yeah, man, it's it's crazy, man. This then, like, yeah, man, it's. I gotta say, Killer Queen does have some uh, twists at the end of the movie, so make yeah. way for that and check it out. At the, the end, the first really movie, interesting. yeah, the mer- first first movie is kind of like the introduction of how everything went, and then the second one kind. Oh no, 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 no. The, the first one was more of like it's 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 terrible, it's bad, but then the second one kind of fills in the holes of why fills in some of the holes, but also doubles down the movie, yeah. a lot of the elements from the first movie, as we said. Yeah, man, it's like I said, man. I I enjoyed myself. Please don't make another one. I'm good. Yeah. Don't make another one. It was funny. The first two funny, but you don't need to make another one. Don't make really another no one. There's no point to it. Yeah, th- there's no point. It's already stupid enough. Don't be like Shark, <laughs> Sharknado and tra- make five of them up. Uh, babysitter for the Reckoning or something. I'm I don't good. Know. Demon I'm good. babysitter or something. The, the way it ends is perfect. The way they end this this whole babysitter thing is perfect. Don't make no more moves. But uh, yeah, man, definitely uh, check it out if you haven't. Definitely, well, it's Halloween, so you definitely should definitely. It's an actual Halloween movie. Sit down with your group of friends on Halloween or beforehand, yeah. or sit down at the party, watch a good party. Uh, terrible movie to watch, and uh, yeah, this is this is definitely laugh with your group of friends. If you watch it by yourself, you're gonna be like, do Why not am I perform it? a blood sacrifice with your friends. <laughs> if you do, your one your target will kill you. Yes. Okay, it's dangerous. Then uh, yeah, man, you got anything else to say? No, I'm all good. The movie was okay. Yeah, it was enjoyable. It I was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I wouldn't watch it again. Not as a enjoyable. real movie. Yeah, I wouldn't. Oops. I wouldn't watch it again. I wouldn't. I'm. It's not worth watching again. It's no. like it's one and done. We watched it once together. I'm done. Not watching it ever again. I, it's, <laughs> it's 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 over with. It's not worth watching again. Alrighty. 
Uh, anything else to say, man? Are you? Nah, I'm good. If you're watching this on my channel, go check out Rubino Entertainment. Yes. It's been a long time. I can't even remember our channels anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, he does a lot. Of, he does movie reviews, trailer reactions, same stuff we do over here. A little extra. I don't know if he's going to do all that stuff. Yeah. And... Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. If you watch this on my channel, man, go check out my boy Rear Next there Show. Uh, he does the same thing I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, so forth. Also, check out Fear by Gaming. We still, yes. still got Fear by Gaming. Check out Fear by Gaming. Over there now. Yeah, um, you know what I'm saying? We've been, he's been playing. Uh, what you been playing? Oh, I'm playing off the screen No Man's Sky, but um, Para, you know, Phasmophobia with my brother and a couple of friends. I'm trying to get him involved, yeah. but he's a scary little cat. I ain't no scary little cat. Uh huh. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much. Oh, and check out my other channel. Uh, we'll be, uh, you can't remember the name of your channel. <laughs> cut that part. All right. Yeah, we're gonna cut it out. Yeah, 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 cut that part. It's been a minute. Like I said, it's been a y'all. It's been a minute. We're trying to get back into recording. So, and actually watching movies and playing games. We're trying to get theaters back. Theaters open it. back up. Yes, theaters. As of this back recording, up. our theaters opened up two days ago. So we're gonna start checking out new movies again. But at the same time, yeah. with all the movies being canceled, I don't know it's gonna be staying open for two. There's long. a couple movies. It'll yeah. be open. I'm sure it'll be open. Listen. Anyway, uh, hope to see you on the next movie or trailer action. We do. Bye. Peace out. Damn.